Hi everybody, welcome back to Path of Exile, and uh, I guess we're heading back to Rune Square. It's been a long day. Or wait, do we just do we do the Orshawary? Yeah, yeah, we got we did the Orshawary. We got the sign of purity. I think that's the last thing we did. Well, so we're gonna now head down this nice ass Rune Square. It's been a day since I played this. So, so you forgot everything, basically. Yeah, I forgot I was using fucking Wild Strike. Fucking Wild Strike is <laughs> fucking amazing. D does it trigger you yet? I mean, it's so cool, but if it only it just like would allow me to. Okay, you need to cover me while I choose a skill point. Uh, okay. All right. I guess I'm still heading towards that life node wheel thing. The 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 like the, the life brick. The life brick. Pretty much. I also have that fucking that that offhand uh, leap slam, lep slam, lep slam. I fucking love you know, lep slam. You no, know, it's actually bothering me. You keep calling it lep slam, right? Uh, all uh, that's why I have to keep calling it. Though. Oh, okay. It's a lesson. I'm, I'm going down this way. All right, I, I was lowering my volume because for some reason today the game is loud as balls. Jesus. Or maybe I'm just quiet. Uh, it might be both. So what other characters are you rolling on, Toss? Um, so... <laughs> me and Mike were talking about this before. I, I've got about eight characters this league already. I've got a Glacial Cascade Totem, which Glacial Cascade is like... It's like a line of ice spikes. It's really cool, actually. I have four totems, and it's it, it's destroying content. I love it. I've got a Necromancer. I've got a guy that punches things, because I always have to have a build that punches things, because I love to punch things. How about the stat stacking build? Uh, I'm not doing that this league because it is so goddamn expensive it's unreal. Uh, everybody's doing that, huh? Yeah, no shit. There, there's a... Basically, there's a couple unique items you can get. Because there's unique items in every, like, ARPG. That, like, the like the higher your strength, but the higher your end, you know, you get you certain, certain benefits. Usually, these items are pretty cheap. And I usually like running them because, uh, you know, it's, it's memes. I like memes. We all like memes. Yeah, but there's a difference between last league, like the Baron helmet, which is the more strength you have, the more zombies and shit, and it, there's a whole bunch of stuff with it. It was like a chaos, right? Which is pretty cheap. Now it's like 300, almost 400 chaos, and it's like the price just keeps going up. It's ridiculous, and it's not even a rare item, like at all. It's not rare at all, and for some reason it's so fucking expensive. It's unreal. For some reason you're. But a I digress. Bit. You're a little what? bit. Quieter. Oh, I have you turned down slightly. No, 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 it's fine. No, no, don't, don't, don't change anything. I just modified your volume. It's fine. I, I didn't plan on changing anything. I, I just thought you were slightly quieter than the, the game volume, so I, I put you up a little bit. Because for some reason oh. we're using Discord like fucking plebs, even though I have a mumble server. Yeah, but my, apparently I don't do good with mumble. Apparently not. Muppy, bro. <gasps> Alright, we got... One of Katava's torments, and there's a fucking pot. A Valacuero's jaw. You know, we fought Val. I think we fought Valaco in uh, Colm's Dream, by the way. Did we? Yeah. He uh, was one of those uh, unique, like, pseudo devourer things. Now you're too loud. Okay. <laughs> or his name was, like, Ragnakari or some shit. I don't know. Fuck it. Oh, Portal Scrolls. Oh my god, I need those. I, I let you pick that one up, see, there's a scroll wizard on the ground. Oh, you didn't get it instantly, you see? Uh, I was trying to, you were standing on top of it. Yeah, well, fucking another one scroll I wizard. can't move through you, Mike. You blocked me. Did, did, we, did we establish that there's no blocking? Shut up. Just, just shut up. Oh my god. That's okay, Path of Exile just dropped your inputs, it's all good. No, oh, okay, sorry, my bad. So where are we finding the tournaments? I don't remember. Uh, because they're the three things that were specifically designed by the Kodui on Nanakanui to hurt K Kitava. Yeah, but why is it optional, though? Uh, because they, the guys that we're getting it for, want a defense against Kitava in case we fail. Oh, I see. So you got Hinakora, the mother of death's hair, you got Ramoka Valako's jaw, I think Valako was like, 
something to do with like the fire of God. I don't know. Shit's weird, dude. I have nothing to roll the box. So. I don't either. Oh, there you go. We dropped to roll the box. <laughs> you fool. Uh, I guess I guess I should have waited, Mike. My B. It probably was actually dropped by one of the things inside the box. It was. If only you could turn back time. Oh yeah, and the patch to change the drops from these guys is out now. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So th this is a free-to-play game, and they do patch it fairly often, actually, so... Not actually sure if this change is good or not yet. I haven't dealt with it too much. Well, we haven't made it into the end game at all. It's true. Oh, wait, we made it back here. Mm, yeah, we did. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, well, as far as we know, this is just a giant loop. Although I like this place. It looks nice. I like it. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's untouched, actually, weirdly enough. I mean, it, it's probably got to do with the fact that there are these three things here that, you know, can hurt the guy. Hey! What are the enemies here? A living memorial. And, I mean, there's skeletons. But, uh, yeah. yeah, but they're like priests or some shit, right? Yeah, they're uh, saints, actually, so... They're necromancers. Alright, let oh. me, uh... Let me go and do this thing, except for the fact I don't think I put my thing in. There you go. Not all slaves believe Dutula's lies. Some I know have managed to steal a ship and are soon to set sail for Namakanui. Hopefully, with these treasures on board, Valakor will bless their voyage and breathe deeply into their sails. No, I'm not going with them. I helped bring this curse down upon Oriath, so I'll help save what little there is left to save. Here, take something, in thanks for your part in preserving the Karui Way. Oh boy, passive point. Oh Remember, boy, and to respect for when you fuck up. Uh, I, I've never fucked up. I'm sorry, that, I, I don't think that was advertiser friendly, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, there, go there goes your Gmail account. Freedom <laughs> oh, which one? <laughs> which one? They're gonna have a hard time finding which one to uh, ban. Right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past them. They'll do it. I don't even start. They'll fucking do it. All right. That's so we, we still got one more thing to find in the ruined square. By the way, I have fucking three orbs of binding. So I mean, that's a thing. Yeah, I mean they're not as hard to get as you'd imagine. That's why I keep saying you should use one eventually. I mean, you don't tell me what to do, fucker. Yeah, yeah, do. I mean, I mean it's still... li it's literally an alchemy, a couple jewelers, and a couple fusings all in one orb. All right, so I'm thinking of switching away from uh, a wild strike again because I, I don't think that's gonna do well for the rest of the game. I think I think I'm I think I'm gonna settle on something, either Sunder or earthquake. Mm. I don't know which one, honestly. I'd keep Lacerate in case you find a really good sword, because La I, 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 I have Lacerate on. I have Lacerate. Like okay. I have it with okay. me. Don't, don't worry about that. Lacerate still might be good, I know, but I have Mace, so it's either a question of do I want to do Sunder or do I want to do Earthquake? I I think Sunder is better. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that I think Sunder is gonna do better for you. I you know what? Usually I do Earthquake builds, and there, there's all. I mean, I I it's a hard choice. I won't lie. I, I've decided officially I'm dropping Cyclone. I fucking hate Cyclone. I'm not. This is this is never a Wild Strike build. Uh, you want your elemental damage back? Molten Strike. Fuck yourself. There'll be time for that soon enough. Exactly. Actually, I can't. I can't give you back your uh, weapon elemental damage. And I'm lagging. What the fuck? Yep. Yep. You just kind of almost lagged out of Discord, but that's a completely other topic. Yeah, whatever. My internet fucking sucks. What can I say? I'm having a problem with Starcraft right now too, where like every fucking ten seconds, I'm like lagging out. Oh wait, do we have a guild stash with like a shit ton of jewels? I'm not using any of that because this is a legitimate run. That's a legitimate run. Yeah, because I only have one character that I've been doing, and it's the one I'm doing for you guys. So I want I want to have it so like I'm not like oh here's a random bunch of gear just because I have friends that play this game. No. Yeah, to be honest, it's all just ball jewels because it's all we keep finding. Yeah, it's you guys. 
Alright, so... And just for the record, since we are on that topic, you can have up to six people on a party at a time, so... If you do have friends, and more friends than me and Mike have, then you can totally get a party together and go out playing in Ray Clast. In Ray Clast. Or and, and Oriath. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I keep forgetting you can actually go to Oriath now. It is so weird to actually say that. Because we played Path of Exile for, like, what, six, seven years, and now all of a sudden you can go to Oriath? It's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> like a whole new world. I'm gonna move some of this stuff around, actually. I'm kind of tired of leap slamming with, like... Your offhand? Yeah. Uh, I need to be able to to basically dodge. Alright, so we've, fair. we've just modified... I mean, I don't, I don't use the totem all that much, but it's just whatever. More attack speed while totem is up. Like, it's whatever. Um... We got Sunder, Multi-Strike, Faster Attacks, and Melee Physical. Uh, we got some Hatred, we got some Blood Rage, we got some fucking Golem and shit, so I think we're good now. Alright, let me head back <coughs> to the Reliquary. To the Reliquary? I mean, it's the last place we were at. Oh, that's true. So we're we're now just gonna commit to either. I, I think my 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 top favorite. This is by the way, I, I even though I'm not taking cyclone, there's always gonna be some dipshit who's like, "Oh, cyclone is great. Why don't you take it, dude?" It's just personal preference, man. Like, I just really I is. don't like cyclone. I just don't like playing with it. I, I'm I'm not saying it's a bad skill. I'm saying I personally don't like it, and this is why I left this build so open. It's because you're gonna find that you may not like certain skills that I'm using, you know? It's just the way it goes. Um, in a game like this, it's so, like, kind of, like, has so many options, so... Alright, so here's a... And, that, and you know, it's actually relatively balanced, too. Here's a guy. Did you think our vengeance was done, savior? Oh, no. It has only begun. That's Utula. Alright. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's fucking dead. How's the, uh... <laughs> How's the sword? No. Not great? No. Let's go into a Tulu's basement. Yeah, yeah. Or side passage, whatever. No, no, it's his basement. Look, alright, I didn't know it was gonna not be a basement. Usually the shit's underground, alright? I'm surprised he was like right beside a corrupted area. It's actually kind of funny. It's, it's kind of weird. It's amusing. Oh, weird. Like, what? Did, did, you, did you actually see, like, like zoom in on him and look at him, by the way? Uh, I actually did not. What, what, what happened to him? Uh, he looked like he turned into a bloat, and then all of a sudden, like, his insides turned to fire, and then he got, like, he fell on a vat of steel. Like, molten steel, and now he's just covered in it. Fucking weird. Okay. Well, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know the circumstances of this, uh, it was, like... Bullshit, he must, must have been like, hi, Katava, and just fucking... Katava just tripped. vomited Molten Steel on him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Blech. Oh, okay. Really? By the way, I, I think I'm going to be using either Sunder or Lacerate this build, and not Earthquake. And I'm going to tell you for a very simple reason. I have uh, an Onslaught buff whenever I kill uh, um, enemies, and, uh, and uh, like uh, Earthquake does not benefit at all from a uh, faster attack speed. And I'm gonna be running haze, so there's really no reason for you to run earthquake. I mean, I did do one. Holy hit. shit! What? I don't know. I just lost like all my health in one hit, and then oh. got it all back. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there, there was a there was the boss here somewhere. <laughs> Dude, that was so scary. All right, I'm gonna go back to town and and turn in the quest since it's fresh on our minds. The high priest is dead. Yet the object of his devotion remains. There's no doubt you did all right bringing that man-turned-monster to heal. But you weren't able to stop him fishing his master out of a river of blood. Damn. Sorry. I never could get the hang of boosting morale. Didn't seem right to polish the edges off harsh facts. Probably why I never made captain. Still. I've been poking around here for a bit and have turned up Utula's stash. Quite the magpie he was. So here. Help yourself. When it comes to hunting a god, I suppose every little bit helps. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. You get a Poacher's Aim, uh, which is like projectile damage, and projectile pierce. We get a melee damage and attack damage, or we get some mana regen, attack, cast speed, and movement speed. Um, I mean, these are all like not great. Not great for you, at the very least. I'll take the weapon Innocence range, though. Gives you. By uh, the way, weapon range is incredibly useful for Cyclone, just for anybody out there who may be considering it. <laughs> any, any... <laughs> not, after, not after what Mike said, but still. No, I, 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 I said there's nothing wrong with it. I just said, like, I just don't personally like it. It's just not my kind of, my play style, you know? Anyways, go through my, go through my portal. Motherfucker. Uh, okie dokies. I, I just, it's just, I personally don't like it. I've tried it, and I didn't like it. You know, there's like a bunch of skills that, you know, you may not like that, that I like, you know, it's just kind of the way it goes. It's not God, kind of I hate fireball. It's just, it's just so basic. Yeah, fucking fireballs. What was I, what was I talking about before? Uh, I, I was talking about why I wasn't going to do Earthquake, yeah. I did do one Earthquake build, so it, it, by all means it works and it's really strong, but it probably would be better as like a Berserker or something, I don't know. Even then, yeah, you're playing not. as a class that actually has a fair bit of attack speed, which yeah. is literally the exact opposite of what you would use uh, Earthquake for. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh. I'm, I'm trying out. to see. What are you trying to see? Yeah, he, he got off. Look, he has got off his Iron Throne. Or Marble Throne, oh, I guess. Oh, this is, oh, this is his throne right yeah. here. Uh, yeah, then come over here. Come over here. Oh. Uh. This is this is where Dominus exiled us. He stood he stood on this shitty crate to exile us. <laughs> was he manlit? Like what the yeah, fuck? He had to he had to think, he had to stand on the fucking crate. I mean, you know that is a pretty that is a pretty tall like plinth right there. So I mean, it's not surprising, but still, <laughs> Jesus God, man. Uh. The crate of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. It's pretty good. Innocence is gonna send me to hell, or whatever that version of hell is. Right, one of them. I guess Ray class. It's gonna send you to Katava. It's fine. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We're going there right now, Pat, for that joke. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Our last chance to get a bit of a, a boost here. One more jewel socket, and we get to put in that weapon range thing. I don't know what weapon range does for me in this in this case, but whatever. Uh, I think it allows you to start the sunder further away from you. I don't know. It has a lot of range. This is this is like the least melee ability. Like, <laughs> okay, you say it's the least melee ability, but you know, then you've got shit like spectral throw, which yeah, come on. I mean, that that doesn't have the melee tag though. Yeah, but it's still like a melee orientation. Fuck you. You know what I mean. Which is actually, I never did use that one, but I, I never liked that skill. Um, but you know, maybe, maybe I, we'll I do, try I it. Be all over that shit. Maybe, maybe we'll try it actually, but uh, now's really not the time. No, I used to be all over Spectral Throw. Do you remember that? Like, I think I did Spectral Throw builds for like three leagues running. I mean, it, it wasn't a bad skill at the time, but then they, uh, then they balanced it. Finger quotes. Finger quotes. Is there all? Because uh, the battle sword uh, two two handed? No, it's one handed. Yeah. And it's not that great either. It's got some pretty low damage rolls, actually. Well, well, one handed is where it's supposed to be buffed now, but. Well, I mean, it doesn't have damage roll. That's what I'm saying. You're not a damage roll. Oh, I'm really not. Fucking ghosts. You know, now that you've got multi strike on there, ruthless might actually be a really good support. I mean, it might be, but I don't have any free sockets. I need like a fifth link, and that's hard mm -hmm. to do, fellas. It is uh, easier yeah, to get a four is. link than it is to get like that's that's actually like the easiest one to get. I think they made it so you have a really high chance of getting a, a, a four link, but a five link, fuck oh, that. That's apparently. a totally different thing. I probably should change the item filter too soon because I'm getting tired of the bright purple that I keep seeing. <laughs> but I haven't actually updated the filter that I have, so I, I can't do that. Oh, four link Highland Blade. Uh, you wouldn't be. I don't think you can use Sunder with right. swords, though. Let, let me just. 
Yeah, I don't think I can. That's the first problem. And the second problem, axe, maser, staff. I, I would prefer to find an axe, first off, and second off, this weapon doesn't need to be recrafted. Dude, I'm doing way too much damage. Well, yeah, I, I know, I Actually, know. well, not just... too much damage, but like... You, I'm not, I don't want to waste currency right now. I, I would do it on an axe. An axe would be the best, the best option. Oh, man. Cathedral Apex. Oh, what's over here? Nothing. It's not ominous in the slightest. I know, right? Oh, well, let's touch the Cradle of Purity. Oh, hey, it's a giant statue. That and he just around. punched me. So he has, like, these attacks where he, like, does that kind of shit, but... And punches things. I mean, he's doing giant statue things. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. Yeah. I mean, can I... Oh, there you go, railguns. I mean, his attacks are pretty well telegraphed. I've seen a lot of people complain about it, but I mean, it's, if you're paying any amount of attention and you're not watching your TV while playing, then chances are you're gonna dodge. Why didn't you dodge, Pat? I did dodge. I haven't gotten hit once yet. Oh, oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I shouldn't have said shit, Jesus. Why did you dodge, Pat? I'm dodged, dude. He's on fire. I mean, he's Katawa. Uh, rip Pat. Yeah, rip me, jeez. Fuck, can you stop hitting me? Fucking rude. Oh, I actually died. Huh. <laughs> he slows you in his fucking, like, little uh, thing there. His hand thing. Yeah. Oh, his heart popped up when you were go. gone. Yeah, it pops out. Yeah, dude, and this is with me hop this is with me hopping and feeble on him as often as I can. He's pretty strong. Yeah. Dude, I'm sitting at like 1.5k health and 300 energy shield, and he just like one shot me. Like you literally your only recourse is don't fucking get hit. Fuck it out. That's kinda hard to do. Especially when he combos like two two attacks at once. No way, railgun. There you go, his heart comes out. We oh. Reaper horned his heart, his heart out. It's all good. Dude, if, if, if that, like, purity symbol, Reaper horned every time it, it went off, <laughs> I would be so much happier. We'd all be happier. It's a little weird that his heart keeps popping out, I'm not gonna lie to you. You should probably get that checked out. Yeah, probably. Not normal. Oh... Alright, I, I don't even know what does that big explosion shit, but... And when he puts his hand inside, like, that dark... Oh... That dark pool thing? That means he's about to choose a target for it. Okay. There we won, guys. It's all over. We defeated God. Oh God, no, we haven't. Dude, he looks so fucking awesome. Bloodseeker, is that you? Oh no, he's countering with his own railgun. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. All right. We didn't really defeat him. We actually fucking lost, but <laughs> we lost hard. So uh, important thing to note right now. So if you didn't do labyrinth uh, before this, uh, well, you know, f uh, f you fucking Rip. poor soul, because we now have permanently negative thirty to all resistances and fifty percent increased soul of, of cost of all skills, which we kind of saw what that was before. But yeah, um, basically, shit sucks. That's how that works. Let's go talk to this guy. There is no shame in falling to a god. Shame lies only in refusing to rise again. You shall soar. That much I am permitted to foresee. You shall ascend to the peak of your loftiest mistake. And from there you shall pluck a single surviving hope from the jaws of a mortal despair. A ship sails for Lion Eye's watch not far from here. Be on it. Um, so that is the end of actually, uh, this is the end of Act 5. It's a pretty short act, all things considered. I mean, eh, short-ish. I mean, it's, uh, I, mean, I mean, it looks small, but we have to go through, like, it exploding and things like that, you know? Oh, yeah, that's true. 
Alright. Fair enough. Well, let's go talk to some more characters here. I'm Captain Lily Roth, and we sail for Rayclast. Better to live in exile than die on this psychotic bonfire of an island. You want to make it out of here, you better get on board. But make it quick, because I ain't got time for tears and regrets. Fucking Grandma Roth. <laughs> Fucking yeah! Well, it looks like uh, they don't want to stay here anymore, because fucking... I mean, Katava pretty much owns this place, so... Nah. It should get a little too real. Yep, yeah, now we sail to Rick Remember, Ross. this ain't no charity run. You owe me. Cast off! Alright, we're safe for the time being. Now let me introduce myself properly. Lily Roth. Yep, I'm one of those Roths. Some call me smuggler, others pirate. Yeah, I prefer the sound of nautical entrepreneur. Came up with that one myself. So you come see Lily if you need something, or even if you just fancy a good chat with a lovely lady. Don't think I'd be forgetting that favor you owes me. In fact, now I think of it, there's certainly a way you can be repaying this most considerable debt. You see, those blasted cultists have been plundering the refugee ships trying to escape Aureus. And if not for my incomparable skill as a sea captain, we'd have met the same fate. But now the drowned dead are washing ashore, and they ain't staying dead. There's been a whole lot of blood, sweat and tears getting these few lucky survivors here in one piece. What sort of captain would I be if I let them get ripped apart by walking corpses? Wipe the twilight strand clean of those filthy undead bars and I'll call us even. Might even throw in a little something extra if you can pull it off. You didn't want to talk to Lily Roth, Pat? No, I've already talked to Grandma. Oh, okay. Despite your best efforts, Beast Slayer, a splinter of hope remains. The very seed that brought my beast into existence. The Dark Ember. Never again shall it birth a life so magnificent as the beast. Yet a residue of that power still lingers. Enough to give us a fighting chance against the ravenous Kitava. How do we obtain this Dark Ember? Three hearts were silenced. Three hearts must sing again, one last time. In that final flickering of life, our savior's seed shall be born. All I need are three fine souls with which to stoke the flames. Chevron of Umbra, Inquisitor Maligaro, Doldre the Dark Tongue. Three spirits of near unfathomable resilience and vigor, freed with the beast's final exhalation. So let us begin the harvest. Chevron has come home to Axiom. We shall give her the warm welcome she sincerely deserves. First we hear that Oriath has lost its bloody mind, and then you turn up. Doesn't take a scholar to work out how these two events might be connected. I don't know what's going on out there, and I probably wouldn't understand it if I saw it with my own two eyes. What I do know is this. The world we knew, it's gone. Now we have to do our damnedest to make sure we don't go with it. Nessa, I saw her one night, running out across the coast, headed in the direction of the mudflats. Called out to her, but she didn't even turn her head. Maybe she couldn't hear me. Maybe she didn't want to. I don't bloody know. I tried to run after her, but she'd vanished into the darkness before my feet had barely touched the sand. So I tracked her, all the way to the mudflats, and that's when her tracks, they just stopped. No sign of meeting someone or something, no sign of a struggle. It's like one moment she was running and the next, gone. Look, I've heard some things about what you've done. Things that beggar belief. Now you can do this, please. Find Nessa. Bring her back to us. Stay sharp out there. Now there's a pair of eyes I could never forget. If the tales are true, those peepers of yours have seen all the wonders of Rayclast by now. And a few things they likely wish they hadn't. Oh, and no need for us to speak of Oriath. My ears are brimful with the sorrows these wretched companions of yours have been spilling. Now, 
I'm sure you've noticed that Lion Eyes Watch has seen better days. Our once bubbling township has, alas, become a brooding quagmire of gloom and despair. I blame the unrelenting weather. As you know, I am both a humanitarian and a strong believer in the soul-sustaining power of story. Back when I was still captain of the Merry Gull, many days at sea afforded me time to work on my thespian aspirations. I wrote a theatrical epic, a one-man show entitled Cedric and the Buxom Stranger. I sealed the manuscript inside a roll of oiled leather and stashed it in the hold for safekeeping. Perhaps you could salvage it for me from that tidal island upon which my poor ship came to rest. Who knows, maybe we can bring some joy back to Lion Eyes Watch with a bit of live entertainment. Alright. Uh, so I guess that's it for today. So There's so many fucking people in this town, what the fuck? I know, it's actually, there's so many more than everywhere else. Well, guess what, I'm the winner. Wait. There you go. See, I won. Nobody else here wins as much as I do. We won the game. We won. G fucking G. Welcome to Act 6, motherfucker. Alright, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.